This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a Yale Model Y500 key lockbox. I don't believe this product is sold in the US, and I bought this one from an online retailer in Europe. Now, if you watch my channel regularly, you've seen me open quite a few similar lockboxes, and many of those products use functionally identical mechanisms. But when I saw this one online, it looked like the mechanism was a bit different. It was my hope that indicated better security. But while this lock is configured a little differently, unfortunately that does not translate into greater resistance to manipulation. So because this lock doesn't provide all that great a challenge, I decided we'd have some fun with it and open it using an improvised tool. To find a suitable candidate, I didn't have to look farther than the can of Red Bull sitting on my desk. After washing and empty out, I cut a thin strip of metal from the side, and this should be all we need. But before we can test it out, we need to change the combination to something I don't already know. So let's put this into change mode and scramble those wheels while they're facing away from me. Okay, that should be enough. Put it back to operating mode, close the door, and scramble those wheels one last time. Okay, I now have a box to which I do not know the combination. We're going to take this thin strip of metal and insert it on the left side of the code wheel and turn the wheel while feeling for a flat spot on the internal code wheel. I believe the first digit is two. The second digit is zero. The third digit is three. And the last digit is nine. So as you saw, decoding and opening this lock is a simple matter, even using improvised tools. As such, this is not a product that I would trust with my home security. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.